Nigerians living in South Africa. You guys sometimes really piss me off sometimes. Like, we are always out here preaching against xenophobia. But you guys are out there in someone else's country and misbehaving. I mean, do you know how many foreigners are there in South Africans, but we only hear about Nigerians, Nigerians, Nigerians. You guys, <laughs> you guys really make us look bad. You really, you know, if something really happens right now, I mean, the whole mainstream media will be looking at South Africa as being xenophobic. We often hear about reports of Nigerians living in South Africa illegally, doing all sorts of wrong things, rape, killing, and selling drugs. I mean, do you guys even know or have the slightest idea of how many Africans are trying to get into South Africa legally, but they can't because of the quote-unquote foreigners living in South Africa misbehaving just because of you. Why is it that we don't have other African countries like Kenyans, Niger uh, I mean, Senegalese, Zimbabweans, I mean, Egyptians, why don't we hear about them? Why is it always about Nigerians, Nigerians each and every time? I mean, we, we will no, we'll no longer stop speaking about xenophobia because it now seems like you guys are even worse than apartheid because it's now getting out of hand. If South Africans right now decide to react, the whole mainstream media will be speaking of xenophobia right now. But as per now, it's all your mistakes. I can't believe it, guys. I mean, Julius Malema was out here trying to speak about uniting Africans and opening borders. But now I see why people are out there opposing this open borders thing. It was all just because of you Nigerians illegally in a country that doesn't belong to you and still going further to misbehave protesting, burning people's houses. I mean, <laughs> I still can't understand. I mean, South African government right now should take the action and deport any illegal immigrants in South Africa, like the way Ghana did. Ghana recently deported these Nigerians. Kenya also, here sometimes back when we used to have a lot of terror attacks, they deported some illegal Somalis. And yeah, so we only have some few South Sudanese or Sudanese people in Kenya, but we we often don't hear much about them misbehaving. So it really looks like they even don't exist living in Kenya. But on the other side, it's always about Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigerians. You guys are always on trend for the wrong reasons. I think... We'll just stop speaking about xenophobia so that <laughs> you guys can have your share of things happening down there because you don't seem to learn. I mean, innocent people died because of that particular action. And right now, no one talks about it because of that stigmatization. But you take the advantage of that situation to misbehave. I'm really pissed off with the Nigerians illegally living in South Africa and just Nigerians who live down there because I don't see any excuse you guys have. None, none, none.